In this video, we're going to show you how to create a tire force. Tire forces are used to model the force and moment characteristics of your tire. We have three different options, a constant friction tire, a full tire model, and a tire string model. Depending on how much information you have, or what kind of simulations you want to run, you're going to choose different types of tire models. Let's start with the simplest, a constant friction tire. A constant friction tire is simply represented by a maximum friction coefficient limit. Note that with constant friction tire models, you will not be able to run yaw moment diagram type simulations. However, you will be able to run force and acceleration type simulations. If you have tire models or tire data available to you, you can use the full tire model. There is a wide variety of different tire models ranging from Bezeshka, Fiala, Hardy, Brush, and Magic Formula types. Let's go ahead and create a Bezeshka 2006 type model. When you create a full tire model, you will be asked about some basic information about your tire model, specifically the coordinate system and what side this tire represents, as well as your tire coefficients. On the right is a graph of the force and moment characteristics of the tire. You can adjust some properties of this graph in the graph inputs. In this case, this tire model was only modeled at one inclination angle. So let's go ahead and adjust the inclination angle range. You can also choose from different types of graphs. If you have optimum tire, you can also import tires using the tire string. Simply go into Optimum Tire, select which tire model you want to use, go into Options, Export, and use the Add-in model to clipboard. Paste the tire string into the tire string field. Optimum Dynamics will automatically model the tire. You can also import tire models from a variety of sources. For example, if you have an Excel file, you can import using the Excel file option.